Rachel and welcome back to Looking for Adventure Art and today we have an update video for you. This is an update of my Traveler's Notebook. A few weeks ago I showed you the unboxing video for my new Buteo Bunker Traveler's Notebook and I absolutely love this so I wanted to do an update for you, show you how I decorated the inserts, kind of what my setup is, all of that good fun stuff and right now we are doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway and we are giving away a Buteo Bunker Traveler's Notebook. So uh, if you haven't seen the unboxing video and you actually do get to see that or if you haven't seen the giveaway video, make sure to head on over to those two. I will leave links somewhere up in the top and uh, along with being down in the description box down below. If you happen to be new here, think about hitting that subscribe button down below as well. And I'm not going to waste any time, so let's just jump right into it. So this is my Traveler's Notebook. It has been actually almost two months. I put that video out a little bit later than when I had gotten it, but I am loving this. I love the size. This is his Q legal size and it is wonderful. I did have my first accident with it though. That is part of the Charm of Traveler's Notebooks. They will age, they will get scuffed, they will get scratched, things will happen with it and they'll get more beaten and look more beautiful and change color over time. But I accidentally spilled some nail polish remover right here on the cover so if you're looking at this and you see a little bit of uh, difference in color even though it was a bottom of the barrel that is why I was really panicked it was really really obvious and I talked to him he told me to get this leather sheen along with a wax I have not been able to purchase the wax but I did pick up this leather sheen for about $6 at Michael's. You can use a 40% off coupon. And this thing works wonders. This spot was so terrible. Uh, if I have a photo of when I spilled a nail polish remover, I will insert it into the video. But it looks a million bajillion times better. It feels so much better. It feels nice and sealed again. So I am really excited. And this is just great for general leather care use because this is leather and you do want to take care of it you will want to uh, re-moisturize it and hydrate it and you know seal it and all that good stuff every once in a while but I also once again as I said in the unboxing video I have a it's stamped down here this says dream big on it and then this just slips right on off and I have five inserts in here so I packed this little guy full much fuller than I thought I would, but it works perfectly for me. So I'm not going to show you everything that's in it, but I will show you the uh, inserts and how I decorated them. All of his inserts come in different colors, so I really liked that and I didn't want to cover it up with scrapbooking paper or anything like that because I just really kind of like the simplistic look of them. So I decided to do some stamping and embossing because that is my favorite thing and kind of keep the covers motivational and fun for me because I love quotes. I am obsessed with quotes. I collect quotes. I have been since high school. So I started out with my first insert. This is a five millimeter dot grid and I did do a little teaser alert in the unboxing video but I will say it again here these inserts are so incredibly fun pen friendly it is ridiculous I write with a really really wet pen I write with a Lamy all-star broad nib pen or a f I've even used a flex pen in these and it holds up really pretty well I don't get any bleed through I get just a little bit of ghosting but I mean you really can't even see any of that right now so these inserts are amazing there's only one that I have a little bit of trouble with and I will explain that when I get to it but this first insert is for my ideas and thoughts on upcoming videos for YouTube and I started it out with a quote that says when the world says give up hope whispers try it one more time and I used a really cute little crafty bestie stamp and then on the back of it I used the quote, you must do the thing you think you cannot do by Eleanor Roosevelt. So super duper cute. I love this insert holding all my YouTube video ideas. And then my next one 
is my calendar. So this goes through June 2016 all the way through June 2017. And I really like it. It's a great size. This is the only insert that I have a little bit of trouble with bleed through and show through. I'm not quite sure if the camera will pick that up, but I do get a little bit of that going on in there. But that is okay. It is not the end of the world. Uh, it's not bad enough to really be horribly distracting, so I try to write with a medium or fine nib pen on the this insert, but other than that, it's really great. And so I stamped one of the gorgeous stamps with the clock along with a Kaiser Craft stamp that was a bunch of clocks and it says time is a beautiful gift and I just continued the clocks onto the back side so I did really keep all of these inserts very easy uh, in upcoming inserts I may end up getting more creative with it but I just really liked the different colors I know some companies only do one color cover they all have craft card stock or they're all gray or they're all a single color and so that can be kind of boring and I can totally understand decorating your inserts then but I really quite like these and I like the colors of them automatically so I decided to just go with something easy my next insert is my bullet insert this is kind of where I write down the daily tasks and it's got the cute little hearts once again and I then do a check mark. So up at the top, I will put the day and then the date and then everything I have to do. And this has been working out really, really well. I am loving it. It really helps keep me motivated and stay focused, which back if you talked to me five, ten years ago, I would have told you you were crazy if you said that this was going to work for me because I hated this kind of stuff. But I am loving this setup so far. And on the cover of it, I just stamped one of the uh, Bloom Girls. This is from Prima. I got it in a kit way back when, when I was at the outlet store. And I stamped two sentiments. It says, start every morning with a smile. I'm believing in you. And I didn't decorate the back because I didn't feel like it. My second to last insert, my fourth insert, is just generic thoughts and ideas and this is another five millimeter dot grid and I am just really liking it. I did uh, say in the unboxing video that I was a little worried that these black dots were going to be too dark because I love my Rhodia web notebook and they're this nice light gray and they kind of fade into the background so I was worried that these will be distracting but they were not distracting um, my web notebook is not next to me at the moment or I would show you a side-by-side -side comparison but I am really liking this the dot grid is great and I think he has a bigger dot grid as well if you don't want to write this small on the cover of this one, I just have the two cute little cats and I stamped just a clear embossing powder, tone on tone, some flowers all around the border and it says sending you happy little thoughts. And then on the back, I continued the tone on tone clear embossing powder with the flowers. And then I have my very last insert and this is just kind of like my little journal insert, kind of my what I did that day, not really a diary, just recap of the day, and then I tend to write my favorite quote that I have found for that day. So on the front, it says, you're kind of sort of basically always on my mind, and I've got this cute little chicky with the hearts on his string, and then I put hearts all the way around it, and then on the back, I decorated it that says, we have loads of fun together with a laundry set and more hearts because I just really wanted to use my new Lawn Fawn stamp set. I just love it so much. And I finally got my hands on one. So I just, I, I had to, I, I absolutely had to use it somewhere. And this is his college ruled notebook and I am loving it. Excuse the embossing powder in there because I did not, uh, get all the embossing powder out but I am loving this college rule notebook I write in it every single day and this is probably my favorite insert so I'm about halfway through this already and I am going to do my best to pick up more of them that is it for the video today. I hope that you learned something about Traveler's Notebooks and at least the setup of them and maybe some tips and tricks for organization. I find that these are really useful just to take with you. You can uh, have an insert for drawing or sketching in them, for planning, 
for just general thoughts and ideas, just anything really. I love these because they are so customizable and Buteo Bunker in particular just has beautiful traveler's notebooks. But before I go, I do have one last question for you and that is our question of the day. My question of the day for you is what would your inserts be? I would love to know in the comments down below, so make sure you do so. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for all the daily updates. And if you happen to be working on anything in particular that's super cool, or if you happen to make anything on my channel, feel free to tag me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or email me or I don't know, whatever kind of social media is that you guys do, because I want to see it. And don't forget, every day is a new adventure, so come back next time for a new adventure with us.